Thanks for getting involved in the upcoming basketball game as a minor official. The role of the minor official is a very important part of the game for the players, referees, and fans. This video will help teach you the proper way to manage the shot clock. The shot clock is essential to gameplay, and it's very important you strive for accuracy and consistency at all times. To get started, talk to the on-site gym supervisor, the home team coach, or a person in charge of the gym to get the proper equipment ready. You can help with this. You will need a small table with two or three chairs that can be placed on the sideline at center court between the player's benches. Find the scoreboard controller and plug both the power and data cables into the appropriate location. Once powered on, it's now time to get familiar with how the unit works. Important buttons to know would be the time on off switch, buttons to adjust the seconds, and the reset button. The shot clock operator will use either a 24 or 30 second shot clock. Ask the home team coach or the gym supervisor what the appropriate time to use is. Every shot clock is different, so use the few minutes before the game to get to know your controller. For reference, you can pause the video here to see the details of common clock controllers. It is important that you remove all distractions prior to the beginning of the game. This includes electronic devices and asking non-officials to leave the table. At the beginning of the game, a jump ball will occur. The shot clock will only begin once a team is in full possession of the ball. Remember that the mere touching of the ball by an opponent does not restart the shot clock if the same team remains in control of the ball. Resets occur when the other team gains full control of the ball. This can happen after a turnover, violation, offensive foul, defensive rebound, or after a made basket. The most common time to reset the clock is when the ball hits the rim after a shot. After a made basket, stop the shot clock first, then reset it, and start the clock again when a player touches the ball. The shot clock should never be running in dead ball situations. In stop time situations, start the clock as the referee drops their arm. The referee will always chop in time to indicate when the clock is to start. You will stop the clock whenever the referee blows their whistle. This can be due to any fouls or violations committed during gameplay. When a defensive foul occurs in the front court, if the clock is under 14 seconds, it will be reset back to 14 seconds. If the clock is at 15 or more seconds in the front court, it will remain the same at the point of interruption. If a defensive foul occurs in the offense's backcourt, you will reset the shot clock to 24 seconds. Some common violations include travel, double dribble, carry ball, three in the key, and an expired shot clock. These violations will result in a turnover. Reset the shot clock for the next possession. Similar to foul calls, when a kickball violation occurs with less than 14 seconds on the shot clock, reset it back to 14 seconds. If the clock has 14 or more seconds remaining, it will remain the same at the point of interruption. A kickball violation which occurs in the backcourt will result in a full reset. For a jump ball, if the team with the ball remains in possession, the clock remains the same at the point of interruption. If the defending team is awarded possession, the clock will be reset to 24 seconds. The shot clock is stopped but not reset when the same team that has control of the ball is awarded a throw-in. The throw-in could be the result of a ball going out of bounds, a player on the offensive team getting injured, a jump ball situation where the team remains in possession of the ball, a double foul, or a double technical foul. Player injuries that occur on the defensive team will warrant a full reset when the game is resumed. Thanks again for helping out at the upcoming basketball game. We hope this video will help you perform your minor official duties to the best of your abilities. 